So what does the number and sign actually mean? All right. So in your income elasticity of demand, all right, we are not keen to find out whether the good is in income elastic or income inelastic, okay, or elastic. This is not what we want to find out. Okay, in income elasticity, this is not the concept that we will be using. Unlike your price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply. Okay, in your income elasticity of demand, there are only three kinds of goods that I want to hear. The first one would be inferior good. Okay, inferior good simply means, okay, if you take out dictionary and you and you and you refer to the definition, it means goods of a substandard nature. All right. Or goods that you will in economics it means that goods that you will not consume, okay, when your income increases. The next one will be necessity good, okay, something that you consume on a regular basis, regardless of the income level. And the third one would be a luxury good, meaning to say the more income you have, the more you want to consume these goods. All right? So now, I want you to look specifically and in, on, in this table and put two stars in this table. All right, a lot of students actually um, have this problem of trying to memorize, okay, what is YED negative about, what is YED positive about, okay? Don't, okay? I need you to understand the formula first, all right? Because the formula will tell you a lot of things. All right, so I'm going to bring in a formula again. Okay, it's a percentage change in your quantity demanded over percentage change in your income level. Right? So when your YED is negative, it simply means that when income goes up, your quantity consumed goes down. That's why it is always negative. Alright? It's not always a negative, sorry. Uh, it's not like your PED, okay? Your YED can be positive or negative. All right, but what I'm trying to say is when your income goes up, your quantity demanded goes down. Your quantity demanded will be negative. That's why your YED will be a negative sign. And similarly, when your percentage of your income goes down, okay, your quantity demanded will increase. Okay, and this is why it's a negative sign. Now let's interpret them in words. All right, so meaning to say, let's say if you are a student, Okay, if your mom gives you lesser pocket money, okay, because you did something to upset your mom, okay, you have lesser pocket money for this week to, to consume, all right? When your income fall, okay, you have no choice, right? Okay, so when you have no choice and if you want to um, upkeep your lifestyle, okay, of uh, going out for movies or whatsoever, there are, certain kind of, there, there's, there, are, there are certain kinds of goods that you have no choice but to consume more. Right, because your income is um, because of a pay cut by your mom. All right, let's say if you want to go to movies, you want to what you have to sacrifice certain aspect of your lifestyle. Okay, so instead of eating um restaurant, uh, now you have to eat hawker center. Okay, you have to eat instant noodle. All right, so with a pay cut or uh, with your mom withdrawing certain amount of your income level, okay, you will have to consume more instant noodle in this in this sense okay and similarly if you experience a increase in your pocket money from your income from your mommy okay or from your family okay obviously you wouldn't want to eat a lot more instant noodle right okay you want to eat more restaurant right okay so your quantity demanded for instant noodle will fall okay so this is the nature of the of inferior good the higher your income is all right the lower you want to consume this product, okay? And when you experience a fall in income, all right, you will want to consume more of this product. Okay, make sense? So now let's look at the next one. Okay, let's ignore this one first. Huh? Okay, let's look at YED that is greater than one. Always positive. Okay, so YED greater than one tells you that, okay, let's consider this 2%. Okay, two. There's no percentage. So it simply tells you, okay, this is the formula. Percentage change in income, percentage change in your quantity demanded. For every 1% increase in your pocket money, you are going to increase quantity demanded by more than 1%, 2%. 
Okay, so what kind of goods belong to this nature? All right, this is what we call luxury goods. Okay, meaning to say, when you experience an increase in income, you want to consume more than more than um more than percentage, more than proportion amount of your income to onto these goods. Okay, these are what we call luxury goods. Okay, so to put it in layman term, okay, if your if your parents give you more pocket money, all right. You want to consume what? Consume more restaurant. Okay, you want to eat it out more often. You want to buy iPhone. You want to buy Gucci bag. Okay. So luxury goods they fall into this category. Okay, when your income increase, you will want to increase in your quantity demanded. And similarly, when there is a economy recession, okay, recession simply means fall in income. Everybody experience a fall in income. Everybody loses job. Okay, demand for luxury good will. Have to fall, right? Because you don't know when are you going to lose your job. Would you still want to buy Gucci bag? Would still you want to eat out, eat out so often? You wouldn't want to, right? Okay. So when your Y E D is greater than one, okay, it means that this is a luxury good. 